Take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction, let us show you the way. Rosencrantz and Guildenstern did not deserve to die, nor did they need to die, nor did their death in any way benefit or detriment any of the main characters in the play, so why then did they die? The first logical assumption would be that Hamlet did so out of revenge. Point one eight April 2007. Let's help you make your mark. No, he does not deserve to be murdered. He just happens to be in the wrong place at the wrong time, behind curtain number one. His reason is to report back to the king, but Polonius really believes that there is something wrong with Hamlet and that his actions, words need to be monitored. Point four February 2008. Take our lead. The stage goes dark, leaving Gil and Rose side by side in the dark, not too different from the beginning. Rose disappears, and then so does Gil. Then the lights go up on the closing scene from Shakespeare's Hamlet. The ambassador announces that Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead, and Horatio makes his final speech. Take our lead. He and Horatio hide as the procession approaches the grave. As Ophelia is laid in the earth, Hamlet realizes it is she who has died. Laertes leaps into Ophelia's grave to hold her once again in his arms. Grief-stricken and outraged, Hamlet bursts upon the company, declaring in agonized fury his own love for Ophelia. Take our lead. When their ship is attacked by pirates, Hamlet returns to Denmark, leaving Rosencrantz and Guildenstern to die, he comments in Act 5, Scene 2 that they are not near my conscience, their defeat, does by their own insinuation grow. Ambassadors returning later report that Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.